Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is part two of the road trip to New York video. If you guys haven't seen the part one video yet, make sure you go watch that before continuing on. Enjoy today's video. Good morning. It is Friday morning. It's 1130. We've been awake for like an hour. We wanted today to be like a sleep in, kind of relax after the drive kind of day. So we slept in and now we're trying to decide where we're going for breakfast. We don't have any specific plans for today. I don't even know what we're going to do, but I think that's the fun part. And I don't even think we need to do that much. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm like kind of still dazed from waking up. I've been reading a little bit. I'm going to go get ready. Take a look out the window Spirit goes up as the rain falls down I've been sitting on the wrong course Keeping it together like I did before Think that I've said this a few times Even with that, has it ever felt right? I swear that this has happened every moment Can I just be honest? I was only wondering Again, space, cause I wanna believe that. Ooh, I get lost, you go with your day. Slowly get closer, but you're moving away. I know it's just a kind of tastes like milk tea. But I'm sure yeah. you'll never see that. The milk tea we get from the back. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's time to get home. Think that it's going a little too far. That's how we there's cider. It's not all cider, right? It's all cider. Oh, it's an all cider flight. These are what we got. It's a really cute little area. Feels like I'm patiently waiting. back from downtown we're back in our, our hotel before going to dinner i think we're gonna go to a shaolin bao place which is soup dumplings i'm really excited because where we're from there isn't very many restaurants with soup dumplings so we were really excited when philip found one here but we're just relaxing a little bit we ended up going to downtown Asheville, and it was really really nice the weather was nice it was a little bit warm at the beginning of the day but it actually cooled off which was really nice it was very walkable everyone was walking around there were restaurants there are bookstores there's like cute little boutiques and we went to a bunch of bookstores we went to breweries we went to noble which is like a cider place bought a flight and then we went to the highlands in the sw building i think that's what it's called it was kind of like a like a small cafeteria sort of thing and the brewery was at the top we just did a really relaxing day i didn't want something to make me exhausted because tomorrow there's a pretty long drive we're going to shenandoah national park and that's like a five hour drive from here Asheville was really nice people were really nice and it's very walkable so definitely check out downtown Asheville if you are interested in visiting the other cafe we went to is trade and lore cafe coffee trade and lore coffee and I got a iced latte with oat milk and a lavender honey syrup sweetener and that was so tasty the vibe in there was really nice it was really calm i ended up reading a little bit in there we came back to the hotel to relax a little bit get kind of settled and put our stuff down before we head out and go to dinner again we're leaving Asheville and we're heading towards Shenandoah national park a little bit over five hour drive so it's gonna be a long long day today and then 
after that we're gonna head towards Washington DC I think that's like an hour and a half away from Shenandoah so it shouldn't be that bad but last night's dinner it was pretty good it was called I think it was like Shanghai dumpling house but that was all we did last night and then we came back just relaxed I read a little bit and then we went to bed Don't know why she got me feeling this way. She's got a way about her. She's got a way about her. I'm mesmerized like every night by every word she'll say. She's got a way. like sweating because it's so hot but we just got to our Washington DC hotel and like I usually wouldn't do this kind of like tour thing but this hotel room is kind of it's so like interesting to look at so I want to give you guys a tour when you walk in there's a mirror here a closet here and then you walk there's the sink trash right right here is the fridge and then if you walk over here, oh my god, I can't even like show you guys fully like this right here is the bathroom. So like <laughs> it's so interesting. And then you turn here and it's the shower. Like it's quite small, but it's really cool. Oh my god. You can control the lights of the iPad. <laughs> so yeah, you got a little stool, you got drawers under the bed, you have a little desk right here. And the curtains are automatic, which is really cool, and apparently you can control everything with the iPad. Temperature. Tem oh, temperature too. Yeah, so there's switches here for like night light, bright light, night curtains, day curtains, and then <laughs> the it's iPad. Blue. Oh my gosh. The bathroom is blue. Oh, it's pink! This is, really cool. <laughs> this is really cool. Oh, you can turn on an alarm. So it's pretty cool. You got drawers here and then there's a king size bed with a TV on the wall. It's like super cozy. I feel like for a short stay. You can set like moves. So focus. This is like super, it's super cool, honestly. This is a TV. It's doing meditation music. So I'm gonna chill out for a little bit. I'm gonna shower and then we're gonna go to dinner. We don't know where we're gonna go to dinner yet, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys the cool, cool hotel room. The camera is crooked. Let me fix that. There we go. All right, I'll catch you guys later. I don't remember the last time I updated you guys, but we're currently on our way to New York City. Woo! We left Washington DC about 30 to 45 minutes ago. We have a little bit under four hours to go to get there. So 
The drive isn't terrible. We were originally going to stop at Baltimore, but we're not. We're just going to drive through because we kind of just want this to be over at this point. Like, we're tired. We've been driving a lot. We kind of want to get to our destination. We're going to try to get there without stopping. We may just stop for lunch, though. Yesterday, I did update you guys on what we did yesterday in D.C. We didn't do much. We got up. We went to the Natural History Museum, and it was really cool. Uh, it was. It's pretty similar to the one in New York. I can't say which one is better because they both have like different things and different amount of those things. <laughs> they were both really cool. The Washington DC one was still really cool to walk through. We spent like two, two and a half hours in that museum and then we went to go get lunch. Conveyor belt sushi place called Kuro. It was decent. It was pretty mid. Like it wasn't amazing but it wasn't terrible, you know? And then we just walked around and then we kind of just chilled. We went to another cafe. It was really hot and humid yesterday, so we went to another cafe to, to kind of cool down, got some cold drinks, and then we went back to the hotel. We just took it easy yesterday because the day before was really tiring with Shenandoah and like the eight hour drive. I don't know if I'll update you guys when we're there or not. Uh, yeah, I'll probably update you guys just so I can do an outro because I don't feel like doing an outro in here. Talk to you guys later. Bye. We made it to New York. Things are a little bit of a mess right now, but we're just way too tired to do anything about it. But yeah, we made it to New York. That is the end of our road trip vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. You want to say bye, Philip? Bye. <laughs> bye.